So, John, I know you're picking up two awards tonight for uh, recent Spielberg films, Tintin and War Horse. Can you talk just briefly about what it's been like to work with the same director since 1973? Well, it will be 40 years. I guess it is, John, if you count all the zeros. An amazing relationship, and it's like it's still new. I don't think either one of us have really thought a lot about the fact that we've been together so long. We've really never had an argument, truly. And uh, it's just something that has temperamentally and personally and hopefully musically and professionally worked well. Uh, also, I should say, John, how lucky can I be? Because as you and I both know, how much Stephen is completely relaxed with music in his films. He can't have enough of it, you know, and, and which makes him the best possible collaborator for a composer. And, and I understand you're working on Lincoln for Stephen right now. It's very special and a, a film of great interest and fantastic performances and, a, and a, to put it simply, a history lesson for, for most of us who don't or int not so intimate with the legislative process of what happens in Congress, in this case, to get the 13th Amendment passed and why we needed to have it and why the Emancipation Proclamation was not enough. And what kind of a musical challenge does that pose to you? Well, I love doing, doing the piece. Uh, it's, it's set, of course, in the 19th century, so the modalities are, you could say, hymnal, if you like, of the music of the time that might have been heard at the time. It's all original, but nevertheless, that's the vocabulary of it. And we recorded the score with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, which was a treat for me. It's one of our great orchestras, as you and most people will know. But Stephen had the idea that, that we should bring the state of Illinois into the film, being Chicago being as close to Springfield as we could get the Chicago Symphony to be. So the performances are at a very, very high level instrumentally. 